Hello peeps, my name is Nabil and today we're going to take a look at After Effects. I'll be showing you the basic interface and um, yeah, talking to you about what the program is capable of and giving you a short and kind of dirty introduction to After Effects. So yeah, let's jump right in. Okay, so here we are in a fresh instance of After Effects. I'm using CC2014. If you have CC2014, I'm not sure which update, but at least over CC2014, your program might look kind of different and the way it works is also different, but um, it's basically the same. When you start After Effects, you usually start by making a composition. It's, it can either be done by clicking this button down here, uh, right clicking in the projects tab, or going up to composition and press new composition. Um, in here, you choose your desired preset, um, either for TV format, video, or even web. But let's not bother with that for now. Down here is the timeline. The timeline is where you're going to be compositing everything. Um, this is where you usually create different kind of layers and uh, stack them on top of each other um, and manipulate different um, manipulate different um, variables of each layer. Um, everything that you create in the timeline will be displayed in the projects tab. And you can also, from the products app, uh, import uh, things that um, you might be uh, using in your project. So, um, already from the get-go, be sure to organize your stuff because when you do big projects, it's going to be quite messy. And be sure to rename stuff. So let's just call this uh, a introduction. Well, that's nicely split. Split. Uh, nicely spelled. Um, up here is the tools panel. Um, these are something that um, probably won't be using that much. Maybe these three here or even these six. Um, but in time you'll be able to just quickly change to each tool by pressing a quick uh, button. Up here are the menus. If you do not want to press a shortcut key or press in the appropriate panel like for example down here and press new solid you can always go up to these and for example go to layer and new solid instead all these menus are usually filled with a lot more options that you'd have down here here in the middle as you probably noticed is the display port or viewport um, this is where everything that you create is going to be displayed. So... Um, everything that you composite on top of each other or create will be displayed here. And this is usually where you're going to be half of the time. Here is the preview tab. This is where you render or preview your stuff. Um, you can change the frame rate to suit to your composition's frame rate, which is 24, and it's set to auto, so it's currently the same. You can also also change it for uh, your own desire, but um, usually you'll keep it to what your composition is at. You can skip frames if your computer isn't able to handle all of the all the layers or footage that you've gotten in and you can also set, change the resolution if you want it to be further down than what you're actually looking at right now. Here we have the effect and presets tab. This is where every effect or preset that you want to use in your project is going to be. Um, you can also find it up here in the effects menu. Um, but basically effects are yeah, effects that you you can uh, customize and uh, suit to your own vision of things. So as I had before, I had turbulent displays up. You can take an effect and drag and drop it on a layer or in the viewport. And that leads you to the effect controls panel. 
This is where you change the variables of the effect. So for example, in the turbulent displays, I can change the amount or I can even change the evolution. Um, the key part of After Effects is to actually keyframe everything. And by that, I mean pressing these stopwatches. Everything that had a stopwatch can create a keyframe. So if I, for example, create a keyframe, which gets shown right here, you can, with time, manipulate that keyframe. And instead of having it at this rotation, you can change it. And what After Effects does, it calculates in between what uh, it would look like if it changed over time. That's basically the gist of what After Effects does. So it's up to you how you want to manipulate these keyframes. And we're going to be talking about the graph editor in the next tutorial on how to get super smooth keyframes. Um, the character tab is something which usually pops up with text. There was also the paragraph um, window down here. If you want a window on your uh, on your workspace, they're also here to be found. For example, mine look like mine looks like this. Um, I have, for example, two scripts running here, and also a line and paragraph window is up. There's the render queue. So when you're, for example, done with what you're doing, and I think that this text looks pretty neat. What it, what you'd usually do is add it to the render queue which you can find by going up to composition and pressing add to render queue. This is where you choose all the settings you want to export your video. Um, for example, if I've been uh, playing around in half resolution for my computer to be up to speed with it, I can always change my resolution here and uh, it'll be rendered in full quality instead of half quality, what I've been used to seeing here. You can also change a lot of different things, for example, the frame rate. The output module is for what format you want your video to be in. Um, since After Effects is a video slash effects program, um, all these formats are usually a video in video format or sequence format. For example, there's AVI, which is pretty well known, or even a PNG sequence, which will render pictures out instead of a one file. There's even MP3 if you're working with uh, video or sorry audio, but uh, After Effects is the best best with audio, so I wouldn't really bother. And here's where you choose where you want your output file to be at. So yeah, I've probably covered everything. Um, I'm sorry if this was really rushed. What I wanted to do with this was just to give a brief overview. If you thought this was too rushed, you can always go and find another tutorial. There's a lot of tutorials on uh, basic After Effects um, introductions. Um, but I just wanted to get this video out of the way so we could start more of the fun stuff. So I hope you enjoyed and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.